President Obama has tried to administer peace talks between the Palestinians and the Israelis, but there are several important obstacles that will make any progress very difficult. The most important issue today is the Israeli occupation of the West Bank. The Israeli occupation of the West Bank has created upset in not only Palestinian communities but in places around the world and is one of the most pressing issues in the Middle East today. Let's take this over to our expert for further information. Over 60% of the West Bank, also called Area C, is where Israel retains near exclusive control. This includes over law enforcement, planning, and construction. 70% of Area C is off limits for Palestinian development and use. 29% has heavy restrictions on construction, and a small percentage of one is left for Palestinian use. In 2001, 560 Palestinian-owned structures, 200 of which were residential, were demolished by Israel authorities. Israel refuses to reach any sort of agreement to allow Palestinians to gain more land. However, Palestinians were allowed to construct an area C. Israel's economy could grow roughly 35%, a $3.4 billion increase. The following video shows the protests happening at the West Bank and the aggressive behavior between both Israel, Israeli forces and the Palestinians. On November 1st, Israeli forces opened fire on the Palestinian international protesters at the West Bank. The demonstrators had been chanting songs of unity, and as a result, the forces fired tear gas and a rubber-coated steel. Dozens of people have been injured in the towns of Nabi Salah, Bilin, and Al-Masara, where weekly protests against the Isra Israeli occupation and separation wall have been taking place for years. Little information has been released on the condition of these victims. No progress has been made on the occupation of the West Bank. Palestinians show no signs of giving up, however. They say that it is their land too, and they are willing and ready to fight for it. That's it for today's news on the Arab-Israeli conflict. We will see you next time with the latest updates on Channel 8 News. Over and out. <laughs>